Robbie Earl, mm. pay your tribute, please, to Jurgen Klopp and his men. But there'd be absolutely no disappointment that they haven't played the game and won it themselves. When we talk, Rebecca, about great football clubs, and Liverpool are, are certainly one of those. And when we talk about 30 years of wait, think about the great managers they've had in 30 years, the outstanding players they've had in 30 years, and they've not before been able to put a 38-game run of games together where they could win a title. They've done that now. It's special. They've got a special manager. It's a special group of players, and they can still set more records going on to win this title. You just put the table up, and there is one Premier League trophy next to Liverpool's name. You can't believe that there's a club of this size, this stature, that were, that were setting the benchmarks pre the Premier League have never won one themselves. They have now, and, and they should feel special about it, even though it's very different circumstances. You both played against great Liverpool teams, good Liverpool teams, not as good Liverpool teams. Try and give us an insight into how special this club is, as Robbie talked about. Wow. Uh, it's going to be emotional for many, many Liverpool fans. And you know what? When I always think of Liverpool and, and of great clubs, it's a great club. You can argue some of the other big clubs around England... It's commercial, very commercial clubs. Liverpool, for me, Rob, still feels like a club. It's a mm. club of fans. It's a, you know, you go to Anfield, it's a very special place. Of all the places I played, you know, getting off outside those Anfield gates outside and seeing the memorial, mm. you know, it just felt like a special place, apart from the cup, apart from you'll never walk alone. Mm. And it's such a long period of time where they've seen their bitter rivals, Man United, take over, control things, produce great teams. Now they've got their turn. I just want to, I think we've got to look back at how this has happened. John Henry and the Fenway Sports Group, it's roughly 10 years now of careful, thoughtful, planned ownership of great decisions from managers to directors of football to critical, crucial player decisions as well. Um, that's been the key to it, recruitment, as I always say it is. Jurgen Klopp has done a very <clears throat> carefully planned job of creating a team from front to back because it ended up with Van Dijk and Allison to producing a team that's incredibly well balanced with the, the front three that grab all the headlines and yeah. the way they score and the way they link together with a powerhouse midfield and now creative fullbacks and an amazing goalkeeper and, and central defenders. It's just been a very, very impressive job throughout. I think, Rob, and, and we have to do this, I think we have to go back to Jurgen Klopp. If ever there's a fit of a man mm. for a football club, Why? Jurgen Klopp is that. Because... He's got the spirit of Liverpool. He's got the personality of Liverpool. He cares about football. He pe cares about club. He cares about his fans. Rebecca, he came into this football club, took him to a Europa League final. He took him to two Champions League finals. They've won one. And eventually, he's delivered the Premier League title. In, in the space that he's done that, Rebecca, in, in, over, over the five years, that is a special, special man. And he'll be up there with the greats now, the, the Shankleys and the Paisleys and the Dalglishies. There's going to be Jurgen Klopp flags for a very long time in the cop. And do you get the sense with Jurgen Klopp that he isn't... He, he, he's in it... He's so connected to the club. He's mm. in it for longer than just mm. this mm. season now. Now he's won it. It's not... You don't get the sense, do you, that he's kind of... Thinking about other things, you get sense he's so Liverpool now. Yeah, he's so Liverpool. And the Champions League was phenomenal, of course. They're sixth. But this felt like the big one. It really yeah, did bring the yeah. Premier League mm. title now. You know, there's going to be probably changes that will be made. It's not a particularly young team. Um, but you've got to think they all want to stay around and to add new players and to go again a little bit. Um, just a remarkable man that's, mm. that was absolutely perfect for this club from the day mm. he took over. My only disappointment is we haven't got a Klopp cam. I, I want to say, well, well, hopefully you'll hear from him, but... I know, Klopp cam would have been Klopp amazing. Klopp cam would have been just amazing. It would have been season. amazing television. We are expecting to have Jurgen Klopp on a Zoom conference call, as well as the captain, Jordan Henderson, who no doubt we will talk about as well during our show between now and 6.30pm Eastern. So do not go anywhere. We need... We all need Jurgen Klopp's reaction to winning the Premier League title. The club themselves have tweeted out, we are Premier League champions in a lovely picture there, 2019-2020. Andy Robertson, a player who really came and hardly anyone knew how good he could be. <laughs> He's tweeted out, oh my God. And Jamie Carragher, Liverpool lad, club legend, currently a Sky Sports pundit. Number 19 with a picture <laughs> of Gary Neville, Manchester United player in a Liverpool shirt. Outside Anfield, this is what is happening.
The fans have been told not to gather, but some people have come in their cars, flares are out, flags are being flown along Anfield Road. You can understand the joy in these people's hearts tonight. Three decades, some of these won't even have remembered 1990. But the celebrations are going on outside Anfield as we speak. It's not how they imagined, but it will do for now. The moment Reds fans have waited a generation to hear. Liverpool, once again champions of England's top division. One of England's most historic clubs, of course. Silverware, well, well it was commonplace in the 60s, 70s and 80s. In the last few decades, the trophy lift slowed. The league title stopped entirely. Last season, the league title drought nearly ended, but they did achieve European glory. Two more trophies were soon added to the Liverpool shelves. An incredible unbeaten run. We mentioned that a little earlier on, plus a record time winning run spurred them on this season. Then suddenly the outbreak of a global pandemic meant uncertainty and fear for Liverpool. But eventually Project Restart brought football back and brought the Reds that elusive Premier League title. Gentlemen, that if that was not a snapshot of 2020, I don't know what was. So Kenny Dalglish in his kitchen with a Liverpool scarf <laughs> on, being handed a glass of champagne, and you could hear his phone and the text messages <laughs> going off like crazy in the background. So Kenny Dalglish, no longer the last manager to win the top flight yeah. of English football for Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp assumes that crown. Gentlemen, ah, they've done it. They have done it. And he'll be getting another text from Graham. You used he to be will. your manager, won the title together at Blackburn, of course. You know what I find fascinating about Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool? If you go back a couple of years, they lost a League Cup, they lost a Europa League final, they lost a Champions League final. They were 3-0 down after the first leg against Barcelona, looked like they were out and were going to finish second to Manchester City. So it looked like they were always going to be the bridesmaids against Pep Guardiola <laughs> and Manchester City. To see what they've done since, what does it say about Jurgen Klopp, that group of players and their character? I think I think it shows how they were being able to use adversity and disappointment to fuel positivity and be belief in what they're doing. And you've got a manager who is one of the best leaders, not just in sport. You can just tell by his personality, whatever in whatever he was in, mm. <laughs> he you know he would you would follow him because he completely believes in what he's doing and he's built a group of people both on and off the pitch that support that mentality and work to you know, what has been the highest standards that, that they've been pushed to by, by Manchester City. Um, you know, I think after coming runners-up last season, I felt that they would win the league this year because the hurt, the disappointment, getting that close, mm. I just felt that that extra energy would push them to, to win this league. I cannot believe they've done it so quickly and so... I, I suppose the style of football has just been so enjoyable to watch. Is this the start as, uh, of what the Americans call a dynasty for Liverpool in the Premier League? Or is look, it just too competitive for that? I, look, I, I, you can't ever look at what, what you've already built in, in sport. You've got to park that and reset yourself for the next opportunity. Clear your minds and, and go forwards. And again, referencing City, one of their greatest qualities is their ability to reconnect um, with with the competition, with who they're playing against and, and approach the game in the same way. And that's what Liverpool have done to, to, to a, a great mm. extent over the last three years, mm. finishing fourth, second and first, winning all those trophies in the last year. Um, and so I think the mindset of, these, of, of this group, when they come back, so they've got to finish this season, they're going to want to finish it in style. Then when they come back, they cannot afford to look back one week mm. they've got to start again and as a player you never get to dwell on a on a situation whether it's good or bad you've got got to find something in yourself to then push to the next level mm. and and if it means repeating and being successful it's about that that mentality and that attitude and the willingness to give everything again to achieve something yeah. still plenty of records rebecca for liverpool to go for this season as well and the small matter of a guard of honor from manchester city at the etihad next thursday won't that be something to behold congratulations to liverpool fans wherever you're watching uh, it's been hard earned the end of 30 years of pain. Not only have Liverpool won the league, they could very easily go on to win it, breaking numerous records, points, wins, distance mm. to second, all sorts of records. They've already done the earliest title win in the history of top flight English football. How important 
are those records? I think they're important because you, you, the, you, know, you want to be remembered as being one of the best teams the Premier League has ever seen. If they get those records, if they beat 100 points, if they get more than 32 wins, you know, we can talk about Liverpool for many, many years to come of being right up there, the conversation of the best team that the Premier League has ever seen in this particular season. And I just, you know, yesterday's game against Crystal Palace... Of all the things we've enjoyed, Rob, of mm. watching the Liverpool team this season and last season, yeah. had everything in that game. I'm yeah. so pleased that after the first, the Merseyside derby, yeah. they got back to Rebecca of showing people what they are. And I, for one, sat at home watching them, mm. was thinking, you know, when they're playing like this, they're so great to watch. You know, we talk about Man City and other, mm. other teams have played great football, but that, that combination of energy, pressing, winning the ball, f uh, great finishes, football, getting in behind, I mean, that's what I admire about this Liverpool team and I hope now they continue this in the remaining games to break those records so that's what we can you know, really start to judge them by. It's a really interesting thing, Rebecca, because last season Liverpool were brilliant, lost one game, and didn't win the title. And that could have been a disappointment. They've been brilliant again, 20 on points ahead of Man City, and got the job done this time. And, and I just wanted to, to, to just spend the thought of, Remember the summer we started the, the, the season and we went to Liverpool's training ground mm -hmm. and I remember sitting down, we, we had a chance to sit with Jordan Henderson, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. And he talked about what Jurgen Klopp does to this group. He talked about that we can get better. Yeah. He talked about, we left, we both said, didn't we, as we, as we got in the car when we left that training ground, God, they're up for it this year, they're ready. There was something about the football, so something about the training ground that, that made us believe Gonna, he he gonna wanted more issue. consistent performances, yeah. Rob, didn't he? He yeah. said, yeah, we got the results mm. and stuff, but there were times he let ourselves down. We've got to drive more for wins instead yeah. of draws. It's let them down last time. But you're right, there was, there was certainly a glint in the eye of him and the manager. We set up the manager as well about how they were going to attack and, the season. And I think the other thing, just importantly to say about this group, it, this is a special title for, for Liverpool. Yes, the 30-year wait, however many points, I remember win, many wins. They, they've won it, won the early positions ever in, 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 in top-flight football. But at the right time... This football club will celebrate it with the fans, with the manager, with the ownership group. They'll get the time, Rebecca. Obviously, we're in, we're in really difficult times with COVID and, and social distancing and all that. There will be a, a moment when they will celebrate this title like it should be celebrated. I do remember Jurgen Klopp in the last week or two saying, I don't care if <laughs> everyone thinks we're mad when we have an open yeah. top bus parade next November. Mm. He said, I don't care, mm. we'll have won the title. We mentioned the records and the potential records that Liverpool can break. Let's just get clarification on that. Well, the record for points is 100 points set by Man City. Liverpool are on pace for 105. 32 wins is the record for Man City for on two occasions, 34 wins as the pace Liverpool are setting right now and gap to seconds big. 19 is a record held by Man City in 17-18 to Man United. Liverpool's pace right now, they're on to win the league by 28 points. So, I can tell you, we are ready to hear from the Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp and the former Liverpool manager, more from Sir Kenny Dalglish, who both spoke to our colleagues at Sky. The man himself has crept into the shot here. And uh, I think we can join Jurgen Klopp live from a hotel on Merseyside now where he's been with the players. Congratulations, Jurgen. Can you put this into words for us? No, I have, personally, I have no words. It's unbelievable. It's much more than I ever thought what would be possible. Um, becoming chairman with this, with this club is in absolutely incredible. Um, knowing how much... Kenny supported us. It's for you as well, Kenny. Eh? You had to wait another 30 years that your club can win it. It's for Stevie, uh, who had to wait uh, a long time. And now it's for all, because this all is built on your soul, Kenny, on the legs on, of Stevie. And um, the boys admire you. And um, it is easy for me to motivate the team because of our great history. And um, so it's just... Uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. It was um, it was really tense. The 95 or 100 minutes uh, of the City game. You can imagine. I didn't want to be involved really, but obviously when you watch it, then you are involved, and then you you hope, and then the big chances <laughs> Chelsea had, uh, um, penalty situation, all that stuff. So it was quite intense. But it is an incredible achievement of my of my players. Uh, what what they did over over the last uh, two three years is just um, exceptional and a pure joy for me to to coach them. Well, contribution of the manager as well, Jürgen. Is that the overriding feeling for you now? The emotion of, of joy? Is there some relief there as well? Because it's been such a long time waiting for this moment. 
Okay, honestly, I, I didn't wait 30 years. I'm here since four and a half years, but it was, and we didn't have a chance really in the, in, before last year when it was the first time that we had the chance. So it's the second year. So it's, it's quite an achievement. But it's anyway relief because of the, of the three months interruption. Um, when nobody knew how it will go on. And um, then you don't know 100% how you will come back. The games are difficult in the Premier League. Each game is difficult. So I'm, I'm really. I'm very, I was very happy last night with the game, so that gave me the 100% feeling uh, we will be fine. Um, that was important for the players, for us, for our supporters. Uh, but tonight, I only can tell you, it's, it's for you out there. It's for you. It's incredible. I hope you stay at home or in, go in front of your house if you want, but not do no more and um, celebrate it. It's, it's all here and it's all here. We, we do it together in this moment and um, it's a joy to do it for you, I can tell you. Kenny's, Kenny's with you as well, Jürgen, here. What would be your message, Kenny, to Jürgen now? Don't be so modest. You've been absolutely fantastic for everybody. There is no small measure that you should accept if your contribution, your contribution is fantastic. It's truly, truly humane, understanding. And I don't know, I think your dad must have been on your side during the war because you seem like a scouser to me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Thank say you to that, Jürgen? Thank you. Yeah, I, I understand. I didn't understand most of it, not because of any Scottish dialect, but this time the, the, the quality, the quality was not so good. So yeah. I only uh, understood the first part. But um, I know that he's with us. I got a lot of text messages from him. He's um, not the biggest message writer, but it's um, from time to time very important that that we know that he's with us because um, he's an icon here. See, and then yeah. What can I say? It's uh, it's an incredible moment. It's an incredible moment. Yeah, and um, my coaching staff, I couldn't be more proud of what they did um, in the last years. Um, what my, what all the people at Liverpool did. When since we are in, it's just a, it's just a, a, a really exciting ride from the first day since I arrived to uh, today. And it's not over yet. That's a good thing. So the team is downstairs. We we we, we obviously watch the game together. They all look like they have um, a few good years in their legs. So we should try. But for tonight, we just will enjoy this moment. And um, yeah, it's the best thing. I can imagine, and it's more than I ever dreamed of, to be honest. I think we've got some pictures, Jürgen, of the players actually uh, celebrating together. How special... Yeah! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> How special are these moments, Jürgen, and how important is it that you do celebrate in style? Look, we are in a bubble. We are in a bubble here. Only people, um, we, are, we get tested twice a week. I know, I know how it is. And we, apart from this tonight, we do absolutely nothing. We go drive to a training ground and go home, drive to a training ground and go home. That's all what we do. And um, so we are, this is a safe place. That's what we wanted for tonight, um, that the boys have to tap the time together. I, um, I know that out there, it's still difficult for a lot of people. But in this moment, we couldn't, we couldn't hold back. We had, to, we had to come together. We were together anyway after the game already. Uh, we go after the, after the game in a hotel for, for, for recovery and stuff like this. So, um, yeah, it's very important because they are unforgettable, these moments, and you need a few pictures for them. And we have a lot of pictures from the season. Um, and now we have pictures tonight from the celebration, and we will create pictures in the future, whenever it will be, with a parade for all our supporters. Um, and um, then we will be together and um, enjoy this um, in, a, in a proper manner. But um, tonight, it's, we did the best. We made the best of our situation, I would say. Okay. Okay. Jürgen is Graham Sines. Congratulations. Oh, great. Oh, thank you, Graham. Thank you, Graham. Yeah. Wow. All the legends around. Congrats. Yeah. You've been fantastic. Yeah. Can I, nice, can I, nice club. Can, nice I, club. Can, I, can I just, yeah. can I just say, you know, the guys, the guys that you're talking to tonight, we've all played the game, but I, I'm amazed over two years how you managed to keep reproducing the kind of effort levels and the consistency and the ridiculous consistency that the boy showed for over two years. I mean, I find that really remarkable because, you know, we all, I don't think we, when we played, we had that sort of consistency. Yeah, we, we won things, but we're more up and down in your team. Your team should know mercy. Um, if, you're playing, if you're playing against this Liverpool team, you've really got to be ready for the fight. And I, and I find it surprising that you can get those players up to that level 
not nine times out of ten, it would appear ten times out of ten. I mean, that's an incredible achievement. How do you do that? We all do that together. Look, it's a mix. It's a mix of um, of the of, of the history you created because that's our obviously the things we we are we are compared with, rightly so. I think we found a good way to get a little bit rid of it because we had to write our own story. But anyway, it's, it, that gives us on the other side a lot of power. Um, it's the atmosphere in and around the club, the, the 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 intensity level, how everybody lives football in this club, and then it's 100%. We had uh, we had a really good hand in. Um, um, in choosing the players we, 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 we kept here and the bring on the players we brought into here that's a wonderful mix they they are all winners without winning 50 times in the past so it means we have them now here now we can start winning together and um, it's so incredibly difficult in, in in these competitions where we are part of but it's only possible with consistency and that drives us that drives us we knew three years ago we played a really good season and I think we finished fourth and it was clear but, but we lack consistency and um, so but you cannot ask for that and then the boys deliver you have to work on that you have to create that um, you have to convince people and that's what we all did together so um, without the players I could do nothing but of course um, um, from time to time you have to you have to help them a little bit with a few words and that's what we do as well so it's it's a big moment. I cannot. I, I have no real words to be honest. Um, I, I, it's, it's such a big moment. I'm completely overwhelmed. I never would have thought that it, that it would feel like this. I have no idea. And um, it's just big. Sorry, gentlemen. Yeah. And see you. Sorry. All the best. Let's hear now from the man who will, in a matter of days, we think, maybe weeks, we're not sure yet, lift the Premier League trophy. Here's Jordan Henderson. The Liverpool captain, Jordan Henderson. Yeah. Uh, good evening to you, Jordan. We've been trying all season to ask you about the title. You've been <laughs> batting us off. No need to bat us off anymore. How does it feel? Yeah, amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, haven't, I didn't want to talk about it until this moment. So it's amazing to finally um, to finally get over the line. You know, I'm so happy for all the boys, um, the, the fans, the whole club, you know, the city. Um, yeah, just a little bit overwhelmed right now, you know. It's just amazing feeling. Um, and, yeah, like I say, I'm just so proud of what we've achieved. Can you tell us, Jordan, how special it was to be in that moment with your teammates, with the coaching staff all around you? <laughs> Yeah, amazing, you know, obviously um, when we won the Champions League, it was on the pitch and there's a lot of emotion, but it was a different experience watching the game um, and then obviously the final whistle going and being able to, to be with everyone, um, staff and everyone together was was amazing really and um, yeah, another moment in our, in our lives that we'll never forget. Jordan, it's JB Redknapp here, huge Jordan. congratulations mate. I want to just ask you quickly, you're a world champion, European champion, Premier League champion, and you're the captain. How does that feel? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> um, to be honest, I'm just lost for words at the minute. You know, it's, it hasn't really sunk in. Um, you, you never really think of this this end moment. You know, you're just always concentrating on each game. And then, and then when this moment comes, it's just... I can't really describe it. Jordan, when did the belief start that you could win a title? I must say, I'd lost belief towards the end of my career that Liverpool would ever win a title again. I mean, as soon as Jürgen Klopp comes through the door, does that belief reignite itself then in you and the squad? Yeah, definitely. You know, I said after the Champions League final that it wouldn't be possible to, to do that without the manager. Um, and it's the same with, with this title, you know, just everything from, from when he come in. And that's no disrespect to the managers before him or who I've worked with before, because we have come close. But I felt from day one he came in the door. He just changed everything and everybody followed him and we all done what he said and followed him and believed him and um, yeah, so far it's been pretty special. It's been an amazing journey and I hope we can just continue in this, stay hungry, keep wanting more and just keep following him. Ian Rush, MBE, one of the players who scored the goals that kept Liverpool at the top in the 1980s. The best feeling, Liverpool FC, see you guys 
tomorrow. Perhaps they've got plans. Rafa Benitez, former Liverpool manager between the years of 2004 and 2010, knows all about this club. They still love him. He won the European Cup, of course, in 2005. Congratulations. After 30 years, the dream comes true. Very happy for all the Reds. He'll never walk alone. Rafa Benitez came close. He really came close. And Michael Owen. Congratulations, Liverpool. What unbelievable season and the best team by a mile. Michael Owen, of course, former Liverpool striker between 1996 and 2004, scoring over 100 goals for Liverpool. Our friend Seamus, <laughs> this is how long it took for Liverpool to win the league again. 30 years of pain and anguish, but Liverpool is back at the top where they belong. To celebrate, I'm bringing back my bowl haircut from 1990. Absolutely right. Borussia Dortmund, congratulations to former coach Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool on winning the Premier League. And then they also tweeted out this picture because, of course, the young man there on the right of your screen doing his former boss a little bit of a favour today. Christian Pulisic. Steven Gerrard on Instagram, congratulations to all at Liverpool on winning the Premier League. Incredible achievement from a fantastic squad of top players, led by a world-class manager and coaching team. Also, a special mention for the backing from FSG, the owners. And lastly, and most importantly, the fans who've waited 30 years. Let the party begin. Stevie, it has definitely begun. I can tell you that. James Milner, 30 years, Reds. Let's enjoy it. Honoured to be part of this team and this club. Hashtag you'll never walk alone. Hashtag can't wait to celebrate together. And Trent Alexander-Arnold will be on the Men and Blazers at 6.30, tweeting out champions. And let me bring you some new footage. This in the garden of, we think, the hotel where the players were watching the Chelsea Man City game, waiting for the moment the referee blew his whistle. Watch this. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern on NBCSN. And for more than 1,400 hours of exclusive Premier League content, make sure to visit nbcsports.com gold.